we're going to go over a generalized case of how to ground a pinboard firing system. So for this particular example, these orange bars represent a strip or any type of field module really that requires an external ground. So in this example, we have seven of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The orange part in the middle represents the fireworks. That could be a mortar box, it could be racks, it really doesn't matter. Uh, the electrical setup would be the same. So there's a ground terminal on both the front and the rear of every strip or field module. So speaking specifically about our primary grounding first, we're going to first tie the front ground terminal of each strip to each other in a string-like fashion. So ground terminal one on this strip, ground terminal two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to run our two home run lines, which are the ground wires that are gonna go back to our firing board. We're gonna run one from this strip, and then we're gonna run one from this strip. So we have two home run lines. And what that does is, if during the show, a break occurs in this ground wire here, there is still a return path or a ground for all of these strips through this secondary home run line. In addition to that, we also want to redundantly ground these further in case there is a break internal to the strip. So if there was a break internal to the strip and we only had this front portion grounded, we could fire everything up until that point uh, on this particular strip, but everything behind that would not be fireable. So to avoid that situation, we run a, an additional ground from each of the rear grounding terminals on every strip. So as you can see here, so strip one, strip two, strip three, so on and so forth. We don't need an additional home run line because internal to the strip is a ground wire that connects the rear terminal to the front terminal. So let's use that same example where we have a break in the middle of the show in the internal ground of this strip. Now we have a separate return path since there is a ground wire running internal here through the rear. It can now be grounded through this strip. So this type of redundant grounding gives you multiple ground paths such that a failure in different locations of your ground will not cause you to lose an entire strip or an entire section of your strip. This is probably the most important aspect of an electrical firing setup being that if you lose your ground, you can lose your entire show or the best case scenario, uh, an entire strip. So it's very important to have very redundantly grounded.